Creating music is one of the greatest creative outlets one can have, and also one of the most frustrating outlets as well. When there are no hiccups, things flow well, and musical moments are created. So it's important to have as little obstacles in the way so we can make what we love. Hi, I'm Mark from Modern Music University. In this channel, I give tips and tutorials all on music production. All right, so let's talk about one of the biggest frictions you can have when creating music, and that's latency. Latency is something that all DAWs have, but online uh, digital workstations tend to have it a little bit more because they're working from the cloud. So what is latency? Well, in simple terms, when you're working with digital music, your hardware needs to talk to your software. When they talk, they take a certain path to communicate. Sometimes that path can be very short if we're talking about, let's say, a keyboard going directly into your computer. And there's ways to solve this by using an audio interface that has direct monitoring. That way you can listen to your music in real time. However, when you're working with an online platform, that path is going to be much further because you're working with the cloud. And the latency is going to be much more of a problem. If I was to push a button on my MIDI keyboard right now, latency would be the time that it takes for me to push the button to the time that I actually hear it from my speakers. Latency can be one of the biggest frictions you can have when making music. For example, if you look at my mouth right now, you can see that all the words are lining up as my mouth is moving. It makes sense. This is how we visually and orally hear words and see sounds. However, if I just delay my voice a tiny bit, just like this, you can now see that your brain is trying to process what's going on. You're not really enjoying the experience of listening and watching. And this is how it works with music. It kind of looks like one of those old Godzilla movies right now. Godzilla is still alive. The other monster the ancient people said would appear must be Godzilla. So we need to combat latency and make sure that our physical playing is lining up with our oral listening. That way our brain can process the sounds as we're playing it. Now every DAW has its own way of dealing with latency. So let's dive into band labs and see how to fix it. So right now I'm trying to create a new song. And right now I just kind of laid down a simple bass drum beat uh, with the bass drum just playing on quarter notes here. Nothing fancy, just kind of get the beat going. So the hard part here now is if I want to try and play with that bass drum using my MIDI keyboard, well, go ahead and check out what's about to happen. The latency is so bad right now that I'm having a hard time playing along to a simple bass drum beat. If I wanted to try and play something much more complicated, well, you could hear the challenges that I would have. Yeah, I can't even really do it because the problem is so bad that it, it, it's almost impossible to do it right now. So what we need to do is we need to fix the latency by doing a latency test. If I go over here to where it says settings, I want to do a latency test. However, as you can clearly see, BandLab's not allowing me to do this right now. The reason why I can't do the latency test right now is because one of these tracks has to be a microphone track, it has to be some kind of recording audio track. That way, BandLab can do the latency test. If I go to add track and click on voice slash mic, I now have my voice slash microphone track here. I'm now able to do the latency test. To do the latency test, BandLab's going to give three clicks, and it's going to process how long it took for BandLab to say these were the clicks and for the microphone to hear the clicks. One hundred and twenty-one milliseconds is an eternity when playing piano or any kind of instrument. It feels like forever. So now our latency problem should be much better. can easily fix this by going into the MIDI editor, highlighting all of these sounds, and clicking the quantize button. Now it should sound perfect.
And that's how you do the latency test in BandLab. If you like this video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more, consider subscribing. In that case, since there's less friction in my way, let's go make some music. Thank you.